Hi guys, this is my second try at this today because I really didn't know what to say. I don't own a TV. We shot our TV a long time ago. I urge everybody to do it. It's kind of fun. But this is, um, and that was a long time ago we did that. Um, but this is what I want to say. I went outside when the muck finally cleared up and we got up to 72 and I got in my little pool which was 50 degrees and swam around and then I couldn't take it I was freezing and I laid in the sun and hopefully got a little vitamin D and I came in and I was scrolling through YouTube and I was seeing that um, people were talking about race wars from this this um, Trayvon Martin case and how um, I guess the white, this is what I saw. I saw white people saying, well, if they come in my neighborhood, I'm going to take care of them. The couple of them I saw that, these people were drinking beer and seemed a little drunk. <sighs> then I saw the African Americans calling white people names. Hmm. This just figures the, the media promoted it. And then I saw an African American man from Mississippi say, I went to see what this was going to be about. And it was divide and conquer. And it had to leave. It's all BS. And I applauded him. Because that's all it was. So what were the distractions? All wet for a month or more. This case, which I didn't even see. I just see little clips of it on YouTube. Um, and what I read. All this distraction of what we don't know what's going on. For this case. This case that should have been private amongst the families and the jurors and the judge was brought out on TV like it was a movie. It was a circus. It was a dog and pony show. I'm so tired of that. Turn that TV off. Turn it off. If you got a gun and you really should go out and shoot it, it is fun. Um, but let me get back to my case in point. I don't know if there's any riots. Kenny went out today. He didn't see anything. Not one thing. Now, we live in a rural community, but he did go to a, a little bigger place, and he didn't see anything. Everybody was walking around normal, and I'm really glad to hear that. But on YouTube, it seemed like a lot of people that I thought were good people were promoting it. Some alternative media were promoting Civil War. Some were not, um, which disgusts me. And then there's a lot of infighting going on on, on YouTube, and that bothers me, too. Because while the empires want us to do this, and that is what they want, they want us to fight civil civil wars amongst ourselves on YouTube, every place else, millions of people are dying across the world, even in our own country. I try to put up Native American news because the mainstream news won't cover it. Like the Navajo being moved on to a super fun nuclear waste dump. There's no empathy for them. But there was for Trayvon Martin. So all these babies being born with birth defects and all these women and men dying on a nuclear waste dump in New Mexico, there's no empathy for them. Or all the Native Americans and the First Nations that have had their children stolen and never heard from them again by Indian schools, which the state and federal government profit from, I think more than regular children, um, I think it's 10000 to 12000 a kid if they can take a Native child or a First Nations child. Nobody's up in arms over it. On the Tohono Otham tribe, they're trying to militarize it, so I'm sure there's going to be something bad that happens there. That is a tribe that sits on the border of Mexico. Their tribe actually goes into, from America into Mexico. And they have always peacefully passed back and forth. There's not been drug runners or, or people they've let slip in. Just the members of their nation. And now the Border Patrol and security, those security companies, have spotlights all over their nation. When they do a sacred ceremony, helicopters fly over and disrupt it. I mean, they fly so low, they disrupt it. So, um, I mean, it's getting insane for the Native Americans. Now, I'm not just going to spotlight Native Americans. If you're poor, 
and you're the poorest poor, and you're white, or you're black, or you're Hispanic, or whatever your race, and race really shouldn't be an issue, and I'm bringing up Native Americans, and I might be wrong, but I just want to show you that <clears throat> what happens to Indians usually comes back and happens to everybody else. But regardless of your color, if you're very poor, um, there's no empathy for you from anybody that I can see. I, I can't. I see that most sick people are very poor. Um, I saw where they may be taking some food stamps away from the poorest people. There's no jobs out there, if anybody's wondering. And if you want to use food as a weapon, shame on you. And those who, of you who promote that and say that's a good thing, shame, shame on you. I just see an empire system that is creating divide and conquer, and they're getting their wish. We're starting wars with people we have no business starting wars with, and we're killing their children. We're killing the women, and we're killing men who had done nothing wrong, but trying to protect their families. There is there empathy in your heart for those people? My heart breaks over this. It really does. My mother was used in a government experiment because she was Native American. It was called the Cobalt Experiment. Right after I was born, they said she had cancer. Even though the family doctor said she didn't, another doctor who worked for the government took her in, and they gave her mass doses of cobalt. She died when I was eight. So we were very poor. Now, that part of my family. My father, he was not poor. He's rich. I, I, he's deceased. I, I don't even know all his family. They didn't have nothing to do with me, so Indians raised me. And I do walk that road. It's a red road, and it's a peaceful road. But I'm wondering why people aren't up in arms and protesting the empires, or do they not have nothing left in their hearts? The empires are causing all this trouble, yet people seem to, on YouTube today, want a civil war. And I'm thinking, why? Why can we not unite and love one another? That's my question, why? I have brothers and sisters of all colors. I really do. And I love every one of them. I do. I would give them anything they needed. So we all need to start walking in that kind of path. Christian, Indian, Buddhist, I don't care what your religion is, Muslim. I even know some Jews. They're Orthodox Jews. They're not Zionist Jews. And they're good, good folks. They really are. They don't want war with Syria or Iran. And look at the Palestinians. They're turning out like the Native Americans. They're just being killed off because their land is needed for the Zionist Empire to wage war on the rest of us. And that's what's going to happen. We'll be that new world order everybody talks about. Unless you get mad enough and you show love towards your fellow man, human being, and start showing some love for them and caring. And if they're your neighbor or, or something down the road and you know injustice is happening, go there. We're going to have to get away from the YouTube and the TV and start taking action. I'm not saying violent action. I'm saying get up and go there in mass and let those corpo politicians, and when I mean corpo, I mean corporation politician criminals, let them know we know what they're doing. And it's not going to happen in our name. Now, I don't know if there's been any race riots today, and I surely hope there hasn't been, because if there has been, that means that the agenda is set and it's going to win. What I do hope is everybody stands down, and maybe there's a few protests to get some of the anger out, probably from the family more than anybody. But I think with Hollywood endorsing it, I know Hollywood's falling to pieces, so they're doing everything they can to get their face on the TV. Whether they endorse it or not, they're going to say they do. So all I'm saying is we need to start loving one another, the human race, and go against the empires. No king, queen, premier, dictator, president. They don't govern me. Do they govern you? And I know most of my friends on YouTube <laughs> agree with me. But it's time we let the world know it is. And maybe it's time for action. I mean, we go to the res. I go to a res down the road all the time. 
they're kind of in denial about what's going on. But other ones aren't around the nation. They're seeing genocide happening. Here in North America, there is a lot of genocide that the news will never tell you about. But I do try to tell you what's happening here in America from what I can get. Now, did I say it already something about HARP real quick? I heard HARP closed down after the billions and trillions that were put into HARP. And it just closed down. Well, I had to get in touch with a few Indians who live in Alaska. They can sneak around really well. They said harps up and running good. They don't know if, you know, some people I said, well, some people said it was sold. They don't know if it was sold or not, but harps up and running good. And they have no reason to lie. So harp is running. Maybe it's not on their website, but harps up. And um, <clears throat> so there's been a lot of disinfo lately. And I see infighting starting again on YouTube. Stop it. Stop it. We've got to unite. Enough of the infighting. If we can't unite on a little interface we have amongst each other, then they've won. We might as well just unsubscribe and walk away and just say, here, I endorse my slavery. You know, if somebody you think is a troll or giving disinfo, just unsubscribe. That's what I do. Unsubscribe. Press the button. Unsubscribe. Just don't even go there no more. Eventually, that person will get the point. Um, and if you don't like what I'm saying, unsubscribe. I'll understand. Um, but actually, I do love everybody. I love everybody. I love the human species, and I think that we can change things. Just with I do. I believe that we are on a conscious change, but not like others think. I, I've seen some of these people say, the, that if you walk barefooted, you can um, you can get in touch with the earth. Well, damn, Indians have been trying to tell everybody that forever. And as a matter of fact, um, the CIA did an experiment to see if it was true, and it worked. Actually, that's part of what's based on the first Internet. I think it was Arbornet or Ethernet. was how the Indians connected to the grid, the grid of the earth, our home, the mother the mother of us all. Without the earth, we're doomed. Now, we can't prevent solar flares, and we can't do these things, so don't worry about those. The one thing we can do is band together against the empires, and it doesn't matter what religion you are. We're all good people, and we're all on the same side. And that is what I believe in my heart is the truth. I believe there's a universal God, a universal spirit, and he's not prejudiced, and he hasn't found one chosen people. Maybe he sent messages to different peoples. But I believe that there's love throughout the universe and that we should tap into that love and start loving the rest of the human race and defeat the empires. And this is all I got to say right now. I had to rant because what I saw today just really upset me and I'm going to get off of here now and I'm going to enjoy myself somehow. But I love you all. Peace, love, and truth. Linda is out.